Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon goes to New Jersey and somehow ends up in the tropics. But this is no paradise. This part jungle, part restaurant is in deep financial trouble. And what makes matters worse, it is run by a Category 5 store... Girls! Shut your mouth already! ...named Adele, who is not fond of her staff. Isabel, you don't know when to shut up. ...who is disappointed by her chef. You just started. I don't even know how you cook. But the person who drives her nuts... How can you be positive about something you hate? ...is Chef Ramsay. Stop fucking me! I hate him. Hate, hate, hate. Tonight, Gordon Ramsay does his best to turn around this New Jersey eatery. He challenges Adele. Why have you asked me to come here? He confronts an uncooperative daughter. You cannot see a problem. No. But it all might be for nothing. No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Because this tropical restaurant might just be impossible to save. Oh my god! Sometimes it's hard to say goodbye to the past. I am. Devastated right now. White House Station, New Jersey, a quaint village surrounded by rich farmland. It's a popular place for New York commuters to live. Bill and Adele ran successful diners here for decades. We made, with the previous businesses, approximately a million dollars. I said, that's it, I'm retired, I'm done, I'm finished. Hey, Charlie. It was nice. When we retired, by the third day, I was bored. But in 2006, they came out of retirement to open their first fine dining restaurant with their daughter, Cheryl. Chop, chop! We love Florida. We love the tropical atmosphere. So I thought Florida hyphen mangoes. Flamingos. They wanted to be kind of a um, high class restaurant. And it's hideous, hideous beyond belief. This restaurant is very poorly run. We know, we have big problems here. Adele doesn't respect us. Girls, we know! Adele tells me to shut up and she's actually cursed. Shut your mouth already, asshole. Hey. Adele is crazy. Go, Bob. All right, here I go. I do the steak, I do the raw bar. I do it all the maintenance. It's really hard. I get really upset when I see Bill having to overwork like that. This man should be retired. I think they said medium. Medium rare. Medium rare. The food here is fabulous. You haven't served that time, have you? Yep. I've been a chef of flamingos for about four weeks. The food right now, it's less than mediocre. I definitely wish I could redesign the menu, but they don't want me to change anything. That what do you want me to do? Flamingos is doing lousy, and we don't know why. I can't sleep at night because I think of all the money we spent that would have been our retirement money. Taxes are coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see us out in the street almost. If this goes belly up, I could lose everything. How am I going to start over? I can't think of anyone else that could help us, but Gordon Ramsay. I mean, he cuts right through the shit, and we are in deep shit. White House Station, New Jersey. Not exactly the New Jersey I know. Look at this place. I'm here to visit a restaurant called Flamingos. It's a long time before lunch, so I'm going to visit the family at home rather than go straight to the restaurant. God, the smell of manure is strong. Wow, that was a road and a half. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. 
Chef Ramsay. Uh, Gordon, please. Good I'm to see good. you. Bill, yes? Bill, yes. Good to meet you, sir. How old are you? I am 70. You look great for 70. You know that. Thank you. Huh? And you're setting this up for a few years' time for retirement or what? Well, I'm supposed to be retired now, but I bought a restaurant instead. <laughs> and now I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> you honestly came out? I came out of retirement. To open a restaurant? To open a restaurant. Oh, I had restaurants before. I had about four of them before. Uh -huh. And I made a lot of money with them. But this one is, I don't know what's the matter with it. I need Chef Ramsay's help to try to make this a successful restaurant for Cheryl and Adele. I'd like you to meet Chef Ramsay. How are you? Oh, oh Nice to see you, darling. Oh, I... The big question for me is, you had a restaurant. Yes. Yeah, we started restaurant. diners. So then you sell them, you go into retirement. Right. Mm -hmm. Why would you come out of retirement to buy another restaurant? We wanted to do this as a family. Yeah. My daughter, Cheryl, and myself. Would you like to meet Cheryl? Please. Cheryl! Hello. Hello. Good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Is... Now, do you just pop over for a slice of cake? No, I live here. <laughs> you live here? <laughs> yes. I'm 42 years old. Same age as me. I left mum 24 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> what are you still doing here? I haven't had a paycheck in two years. Well, I have to live home. My daughter, Cheryl, she's still living with us. But she doesn't bring anyone home. No guys. Forget that. OK. Should we get to the restaurant? Sure. Let me drive you there. Let's go on a little scenic route, yeah? Woo! All right. Yeah? yeah. Oh, Let's go, Princess. OK. So tell me, who came up with the word flamingos? No, it's flamingos. Flamingos. Who? Flamingos. 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 It's flamingos. Not flamingos. Flamingos. FLA. FLA slash mangoes. Not flamingos. Not flamingos. Flamingos. Yeah, flamingos. Right. Restaurant in New Jersey. Yeah, why not? Are you fucking crazy? There you are. Thank you so much for the lift. Wow. Florida mango. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my God. It's like a zoo in here. Yeah, well, it is tropical. Who designed it? My daughter decorated it. Amazing. How drunk was she when she put the final sketches together? We do like the tropics. I don't see anything wrong in bringing tropical to White House Station. This is Jody. She's Jody. going to take care of you. OK, brilliant. OK. Thank you, Adele. <sighs> Where do you start this one? It's endless. OK, um, let's start off with Ai Tuna right. on the flaming tiki platter. A tiki. And then I'll end up with that tsunami on filet mignon. OK. Thank you. OK, this is for Chef Ramsay. All right. I think Chef Ramsay's mouth's going to drop to the floor when he sees a few of the things on the menu. Our tuna appetizer. Thank you. Enjoy. Is that always that hot in terms of spicing? They have a tendency to spice things up a bit. It's an embarrassment to tuna. Yes. Ask Cheryl to taste that other little end there. I will. Thank you, my darling. Brian, Cheryl, Chef Ramsay would like you guys to taste the tuna. It is really spicy. I've been saying it since I got here. I never had a problem. Doesn't matter if you love it or not. Everybody else, four times I've got complaints about being spicy. So he's, he's done with it. Ribs are destroyed. Sunday we made those. It's a week. Four days. Whatever, send it. Just send it out. Send it out. Wow. I see platters like that. I hear Hawaiian music. Oh, my God. So do we use that and start grilling away? Or... It's for looks. Thank you. Oh, mm. fuck me. What the fuck? Are you trying to get the smoke detectors to come? No, I'm trying to get the thing off the top. Excuse me. Having a world-known chef spit out my food is not good. Tiki plata. Shitty plata. We need Bill ready to carve a play. Tell my father to put his, his black chef coat on. Yeah. Cheryl wants you to put your black chef coat on. Next, filet mignon. So I'm sort of looking forward to a really nice, classic piece of meat. Show you where it is. Strip down, baby. 
I'm not looking. I'm getting excited. <laughs> we have a flaming filet mignon that I serve table side. People just love it. The chef's dream, filet mignon. Mm. Something simple, something classic, and something that's not normally served on a trolley. What is that thing? These are roof tile. Raising it from the tile. Yeah, I'm gonna finish it. It's still cooking. You'll love this. Yeah, you'll I love, love this. this. What's that in there? This is butter and garlic. Oh, garlic butter. Uh huh. It goes on top. And so the tsunami is the garlic butter running down the drain pipe. Right. <laughs> And all the stuff dripping me out the end. <laughs> well, you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Quite welcome. Wow. <laughs> me. Mm. That's the toughest and the most chewiest filet mignon I've ever tasted in my entire life. The thing's so chewy. Is it's it chewy? A, yeah, the meat is so tough. Do you uh, want me to? Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I finished it. Take this out of your yeah, way. Thank you. Okay. Guys. Chef Ramsay hated the food. He hated the decor. And I can't understand why. Less than impressed with lunch. Brian, Brian, good to meet you. Chef Ramsay is anxious to discuss Flamengo's eclectic cuisine with the head chef. And how long have we been here? Um, about a month. What's it like cooking that food? Does it blow you away? Are you excited? No, Are it doesn't you... blow me away. I think it's all over the place. Straight up, would you eat it? No. No, but you have to serve it to me. When a new chef starts in a restaurant, he wants to put his imprint on the menu. Right. But they all want change right now. Who doesn't want change? The owners. Right. Who it's writes the, the menus? We do. Why wouldn't you listen to your chef? I don't know. It's frustrating for me, too, because, like I said, I've made the suggestions. I've said we need you to You sent it to me. You sent every fucking dish to me, and it was embarrassing. Well, uh, That's not cooking. That's dog shit. We take pride in what we serve, and he just ripped it apart. It's awful. Coming up. You can make this work if you believe in it. Uh, it's a test of wills. How can you be positive about something you hate? I need to know that you're committed. OK, so stop fucking me. It's the battle of the owner. You don't freaking listen. And the world-class chef. If you're not going to embrace change, shut the shop. Who will stay? How stupid can you be? It's an absolute nightmare, a real nightmare. And who will go? I need to get out of here. I would rather close the doors. And later, a shocking event that will bring Gordon and Adele together. Sometimes it's hard to say goodbye to the past. But it might be the end of Flamangos. Oh, my God! Chef Ramsay is already aware that the food is horrible and the chef is really an unhappy cook. But before Gordon can even contemplate making changes, he needs to get the complete story by observing a dinner service. What name? Her. Her. All right, you can follow me. When the dinner starts coming in, just start throwing some asparagus on, put it on the side. The menu's large. The menu's a little all over the joint. It is. You know, really big. I don't have time to read this. It's got a lot of things on it. Tonight's dinner service is busier than usual because Chef Ramsay is in town. You ready to order? And his customers order from this massive menu. I'll have the crispy rainforest tilapia. OK. Tickets are flying into the kitchen. Here we go. Calamari marinara. But the challenge to perfect such a huge variety of dishes is overwhelming for Chef Brian. I, I don't even know what to do. Absolute crazy, you know that? Yeah, huh? yeah. Got way too many tickets up there. Can't have 400 things on your menu. You just can't do it. I don't care who you are. Doesn't matter. We're absolutely buried over here. Buried. We don't even have these set up yet. Unbelievable. Although Chef Brian is slammed in the kitchen, it's like, a, it's like a circus over here. The customers are not exactly sympathetic. Nice What's going on back there? We've been here since 6 o'clock. Well, I can't do it. They're all waiting the well, you might same want to amount. Say something, you know? Like we know. Shut your mouth already. I'm 
absolute crazy. Adele's attitude is completely toxic, and it trickles down from us to the patrons. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and Brian has finally completed the first orders. I need his food out of the window right now. However, just as fast as dishes are rushed to the dining room, they are quickly returned to the kitchen. Hey, guys, the shrimps are just way too small. And she said the red rice, the risotto, is just bland. Oh, my god. I've had it today already. I've had it. Why am I here? That's it. Uh, I'm taking a break. Fuck this. Right, two seconds. Bottom line, I mean, it was just about overwhelming. Disaster. Disaster? Major. It's the menu I was thrown into, and it's a disastrous menu. How can you get passionate about cooking something you hate? It's all over the place. It's uncookable. Right. I need to know that you're committed. I'm committed, committed to change. Yes. Because they have no clue. This restaurant turnaround cannot depend on them. It depends on you sticking with me. Is right. that clear? Absolutely. OK, thank you. Yep. Now that Chef Ramsay understands Brian's issues, they head back to the kitchen. Here I go. Meanwhile, Bill is ready to serve the tableside tsunami. I get tired real quick, but to help the business, I'll do whatever I have to do. Is that well done? No, it's me and rare. If you just cut that a little bit, you'll see it's medium rare. All you have to do is cut it. It's cut. No, but I mean cut it this way, because it was sitting on a hot tile. It's not medium rare. OK. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. We got a 70 year old he man going round and round the dining room. No, no, he shouldn't be doing this at this pace. Well, they're too, cheap, cause they're too cheap to hire anybody else. What are you trying to do? Put the father in the grave? I mean, that's he's got one foot in there already. He didn't even want to do this. He didn't want, he wanted he to retire. Me that. That's what hurts. Yeah. Bill is overworked. I and mean, it's not fair. After a night where he witnessed a dejected chef, unhappy patrons, and an overworked older owner, Gordon knows he has to have a serious talk with the tough mother-daughter team of Adele and Cheryl. I wanted to talk to you both personally and express my concerns about Bill. I'm seriously worried about him in a big way. Running around at the age of 70, pushing the cart. Why are you guys letting him do this? Well, he really doesn't work that much. You know what? It's always poor Bill. That's Bill's nickname, poor Bill. Why have you asked me to come here? Because I feel like I'm wasting my time. Because we don't know what the problem is. The service downstairs tonight, how was that? The kitchen, the kitchen was a, a disaster. Yeah. So you've employed the chef? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't been given chance to cook. He's cooking your menu. Right. Well, I, we never changed the menu since we opened. He never gets chance to show you what he can cook. Because we felt that our food was very good. Right. Are you stupid? I guess I am. You're accepting that it's perfect. I'm trying to tell you bluntly that it's not. Yet you never seem to accept your own mistakes. It's never your doing. We thought our food was good, but now you just, you know, said it's horrible. You cannot see a problem in your own establishment. No. I'm being honest. What I would like to see it's just a little bit more integrity with owning up to the responsibility to why this place is not working. There's no acceptance on your own mistakes. Good night. Chef Ramsay realizes that the only way to begin to fix some of these problems is to do something these owners have never done, have a staff meeting. It's so important to clear the air. If anyone has anything to say, please talk about it. I'll listen to anything. Doesn't mean I'm going to agree to it. The menu needs to be simplified. Are you kidding? Cut it way back. People want to come in here and cut off shorts and have a beer and a burger. Yeah, but you just started. I don't even know how you cook thoroughly yet. You've got to have the confidence and allow this man to step up to the mark. You need to be a little bit more entrusting on that and less nervous about letting go. I can't do my job if they don't let me do my job. OK, next question. I can't understand why the F you don't like me. Well. 
Isabel, you're an excellent server, but you don't freaking listen. But I know what I'm doing. I don't need to be constantly told the same thing over and over again. Isabel, please be quiet. Why would you think you have to tell me when I've been here you, for two years? You I know what the F I'm doing. Isabel, you don't know when to shut up. They don't want to hear opinions. We're still going to get treated like garbage. I don't think they're going to change. Coming up, a firestorm no one saw coming. Oh, my God! Will it destroy flamangos and tear this family apart? <laughs> Horrible. That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. No! Centrally located next to the train station, Flamangos has managed to push away its local customers. Today, Chef Ramsay begins his plan to bring them back. We're going to start making some changes. Yeah? I am afraid to make the change. Change number one. Let this man cook something that he wants to put on as a special tonight without any interruptions from you two. Second change. Bill, what is your favorite dish to cook? My meatloaf. When was the last time you cooked it? Eight years ago. Tonight, you're going to cook that as well. Really? Change, yes. I don't want you around there pushing the trolley out, running around like a blue ass fly. <laughs> Both items will go on tonight as specials. My meatloaf that I've been making for years that I haven't made in a long time, it's going to be great to have it on the menu tonight. Your meatloaf. What are you seasoning it with? Fresh parsley and a little salt and pepper. I enjoy cooking a lot better than pushing the trolley around. Brian, what are you doing? Chicken and shrimp jubilee, rosemary, gorgonzola, brown sauce. Chef Ramsay definitely let me have free reign on creating my own special, and I wanted to prove it to Bill and Adele that I can do it. I can handle the job. Brian, very nice. Dig in. That is so good. Mm. Thumbs up? Mm. Yes. Very yes? Good. Everybody happy? Yes. 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 I liked it, but I would never order meatloaf out. Never. I can't believe that Chef Ramsay wants meatloaf. Tonight, we can't have a disaster. So let's get set up, let's get prepped. We're opening up. Let's go, guys, yes? As Chef Brian and his team prepare specials for tonight's dinner service, no detail goes unnoticed by Chef Ramsay out in the dining room. What, those nails, what's going on there? What happened? Aren't they pretty? Chrissy, they're pretty. fucking disgusting. Chef Ramsay asked her about her damn nails. Cheryl is the 80s. Are you high maintenance or what? Huh? Seriously? But I work hard. Yeah. Unfortunately, the wrong places. Hello. Hi. Follow me. All of our specials tonight are excellent. I'll have a okay, chicken jubilee. I'd like the meatloaf, please. Excellent choice. I think there's hope adding the specials, but will people like it? I don't really know. Right, I want to see you step up to the mark tonight, OK? So get on top of it from the outs. Yes, sir. Ordering three Jubilee meatloaf chicken special. I'm on. Really big night tonight. More importantly, these specials have to work, but Brian has to come out of the kitchen and run it like a head chef because, unfortunately, the owners have employed him as a line cook. Tonight has to be his night. Three Jubilees picking up, one meatloaf. Many of the diners have ordered the specials. Chicken special. And that has had a positive impact on the kitchen. You're doing OK. You're doing beautiful. Brian is not spread too thin and is able to push out the food much more efficiently than last night. Go with this, please, please. And in the dining room... How is everything? Fabulous. Meatloaf and Chicken Jubilee specials are creating a buzz. The meatloaf uh, out of this yeah. world. While the original menu is creating a slightly different kind of buzz. It's overcooked. It's overdone. I'll bring the owner over, OK, to talk to you. Adele? Yeah. Table 31. The mahi is overdone. They want to speak with you. I'm a little busy, OK? I know you're busy. I'm letting you know that they're waiting. Tell them I will be out as in a I minute. did. That's what I did. OK, so stop fucking me. I'm pretty fed up. I'm treated like almost stupid. Adele can be downright nasty and insulting. OK, complaints. What are they? Okay. Mahi? It's dry. It's dry. It's dry. So you don't want it. Okay. Bastard. I know when the customers come in, you have to, to be positive, but they're liars. Go help us. 
I bet you see more shit in here than a muck spreader has in New Jersey for the last hundred years. See you later, my friend. Mahi's killing me right here. I'm dying with the fuck sight. A lot of special left in the kitchen. Which helped a lot, but I was still discouraged with the old menu. It just got a little backed up. Oh, if we missed the chicken penne. Get that going on the fly. I need a chicken breast working on the grill. The biggest panic in that kitchen there is trying to get your head around doing this menu. There's so many components in that menu that you're right. reaching for this or reaching for that, that everything's right. just so sporadic, nothing right. streamlined. And that's why it's an absolute nightmare. I mean, a real nightmare. Bye, thank you. Here's the good news. Chicken special, meatloaf, we're thinking here. Now, the changes may have been subtle, but it wasn't enough. Nowhere near enough. In order for this to work, whether Adele or Cheryl likes it, this place needs to take a dramatic turn. In fact, the biggest turn has ever had since this place has opened. It's time to say goodbye to the tropics in the center of New Jersey. Everybody, stand up, grab a chair from the dining room, and follow me. Let's go. I was just wondering what's going on. Grab a chair. Take two. Let's go. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. What's going to happen? Oh, hold on. No! What do you mean, no? That's I... Willie, my alligator. Trust me, I need him in the truck. I can't believe Chef Ramsay grabbed my alligator and just threw it in the truck. Just threw it in there. Pop, pop, pop. I ate him with my chair. Hey, we need the menus. Ah. Ah. I don't think it's funny. Watch if you want to keep your job. <laughs> right. Well, I want that alligator. They are not getting that. Cheryl and Adele are in complete denial about this place. Nobody wants this tacky tropical decor. They better not throw that stuff out. Or there's going to be a problem. Oh my god! What is going on? I want my alligator. Come over. I had a very good feeling that this is the beginning of the end of flamingos. Adele. The only way I know when I leave White House Station that the tropics aren't going to creep back in is to burn them. <laughs> gone to the menus, gone to the bamboo, gone to the crocodile, gone to the pineapples. The tropics are going. My greatest fear is to lose everything we worked for. Three, two, one. When I leave White House Station, that the tropics aren't going to creep back in, <laughs> is to burn them. <laughs> the tropics are going. Three, two, one. Hold on, wait. Sorry, I forgot the most important thing. The sign. <laughs> Say goodbye to flamingos. I just can't tell you how happy I am to see that flamingo sign gone. Ready? I'm going to leave you to the expert. Thank you so much. Please do it quickly before they change their mind. Ah, look at that! Anyone for cooked alligators? Yeah. That's a good one. It feels great to watch flamingos go up in fire. Adele may be upset that she's losing the traffic, but it wasn't working. It's hot as Florida here. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. Is that right? Huh? I don't want you to be upset. Please. She is. Huh? You're going to make me cry. I am devastated right now. Change is difficult. It is. And sometimes it's hard to say goodbye to the past. You know that? It'll be all right, honey. It'll be fine. Hey. It's just the tropics. The four walls are fine. We have faith in you. Uh, the past is gone. It will be for the better. But Adele needs to come around. Now, I have regrets. I don't know what's to come. So we'll see. It's all right, baby.
After getting rid of the tropics, Gordon now moves ahead with his plan to transform flamingos. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? OK, nervous. I told you the change would not be subtle. And it's important you embrace change. That's not easy, but it's for the best. Ready? Ready. Yes. Yes. Goodbye, Florida. No more mangoes. Welcome oh. to the junction. Oh. How appropriate is that? Yes. Railroad tracks. Junction means trains, but junction also means coming together, which is what this community is going to do on a daily basis. They are going to come together at the junction. Oh, I love it. Adele, how does it sound? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Takes me a while. Takes you a while. Yes. I'm not happy about the name. Come in. Welcome to the junction. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Look at the size of this place. To open up this room was absolutely crucial. It looks twice the size. Oh. The wow factor was everything. I can't believe the wall is gone. The tropics have gone. This restaurant was claustrophobic. It's much more open. Sand it down and distress the tables to match the chairs. The pineapples have gone. And more importantly, it's just lighted the whole place up. Look at the raw bar. There is no longer a raw bar. This is milkshake heaven. <laughs> Perfect. It's a lot more casual now. I'm very excited about the junction. Adele, what do you think? I don't like it. I don't like it. I hate blue. Unbelievable. I'm dumbfounded. I don't think I have ever heard anyone say they hate the color blue. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. How can you be positive about something you hate? Ugly. Don't want to throw up. I hate it. Hate. The changes to what was once called Flamangos has been dramatic. It's terrible. And Adele is finding it hard to accept any of them. I love what we had. That's all. And uh, this is a very drastic change. And I really don't like it. Think about your customers, because this is not for you to sit and enjoy. This is for you to run as a business. I regret it right now, but I want to see the menu, you know, and see how it's all going to come together. Adele. Thank wow. you. Now, this is trying to keep it in keeping with what's happening in the community. It's diverse, it's sophisticated, and more important, it's modern. How does that read for you? I mean, it, it's simple. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. Yeah. Burgers, meatloaf, we do a chicken. It's comfort food, but it's fancy comfort food. There's no other place around here like this. What do you think of the menu? I mean, this is very limited. Very limited menu. This menu is so limited, it's not going to be successful. And people are not going to come in with that small, small menu. I'm trying so hard to help here. Yeah. There's one thing I need to say to you, is that you cannot be personal about nostalgia that hasn't worked. And you have to embrace change. Because if you're not going to embrace change, do yourself a favor. Shut the shop and retire. She has to get used to it, because this is what's going to bring people into this restaurant. And Adele's sitting, looking like she wants to throw herself in front of a train. After Chef Ryan spent the day learning the Junction's concise menu. That looks marvelous. Chef Ramsay introduces the staff to the new dishes. If you just have a look at the portion size, it's in keeping with the plate. This is a hallmark, not just a burger. Three different mini buffalo, meatloaf, and a turkey burger. The bigger portions, glazed salmon, a simple, delicious roast chicken. Who'd like a taste? Dig in. <laughs> dig in, dig in, dig in. Tell me, tell me someone moist. That's different. That's good. These salmon are so juicy. Oh, I hate salmon. I love salmon. Oh. It's like a fish. Adele, how's the salmon, darling? Oh. <laughs> the new menu is exactly what we needed. It's nice and simple, but Adele has a very hard time accepting change. This is their last chance to pull this place out. Just go with it. Oh. It's 
30 minutes before the doors open to this new restaurant. You got your salad bowls? Yeah, I'm ready. Beautiful. And everyone is excited about the menu and decor. Everyone except Adele, who has hidden herself in the kitchen on the dessert station. What are you looking for? Crumb, apple crumb, but it's out. Joe, can you do desserts? Yes, sir. Here, give me, I'll take that. He's fine. He can do a dessert. All right. I need your smile. I'll be right out. I'm very nervous. It shouldn't be to my liking. It's to what the customers will want. I don't know if they're going to like this. Good. First customer's there. I really want to go home. Did you just say you want to go home? Yes, I did. Right now, I don't feel my mother feels she has hope. The register has to start ringing for her to feel more confident, because I know she's mortified. As the restaurant starts to fill up with customers, Chef Ramsay inspires the kitchen staff for the big night. Right, Bri, you ready? Yes, sir. When I get an owner like that out there that tells me she wants to go home, tonight, I need you to get even more in control to make this fucking thing work, yeah? Let's do it, yeah. I feel great about the new menu. This is a new beginning. Let's take it from there. The sky's the limit. All right, let's do this. This looks like a place to be fun to come to every day. Really? Thank you. It's open. It's um, inviting, right? You should hear what those people I know. Say. They love it. They love it, and it's this is more inviting to go to than it was before. Well, screw them. I'm not screw them. They're the ones with the money. Glazed salmon. Ribs, okay. Chicken jubilee, lemon chicken. With the first orders in, the pressure shifts to Chef Brian, who must execute the junction's new menu. We're gonna do a salmon and a jubilee next, so let's finish those. Put the whole pan in the oven. Don't even sizzle the plate. Beautiful. When he's in the window. Cheers. All right. Thanks to Chef Ramsay's more focused menu, Brian is able to get orders out in a timely manner. Table 30 in the window. And more importantly, this is money. the customers are loving the food. It's really good. Who would have thought? You got fried dill pickle. It's not a flavor. It's very moist. It's very tasty. I like this. And it's, it's nice and bright. It's too bright. I don't like it. Oh. Now, where's the old bag? I mean, where's mom? <laughs> what? I just don't have the patience anymore for anything. Nice to see you. Where is Madam Grumpy? Where is she? Oh, here we are. He says it's going to work. How stupid can you be? Uh, can I have a quick word with you? Two seconds. Wait. What's the matter? I'm very upset. I don't like this setup. The decor. You can make this work. Only if you believe in it. Already, you don't believe in it. The negativity is going to rub off on your staff. Mm. It's going to rub off on your daughter. And the customers will be feeding you. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I need to get out of here. I have to be proud of what I'm doing. I am not proud of this. I would never run a restaurant like this. I want to go home. Hey. I would rather close the doors. It's opening night at the junction, and even though the customers are happy, Very well seasoned. Adele is miserable and ready to leave. I want to go home. Chef Ramsay is frustrated, and he knows the only way to get through to Adele is through her husband, Bill. Why is Adele so against it? Help me, please. She's that way. But she's our first point of contact. Yeah. If you could do me a favor and just ask her to put a smile on that yeah, face. face. OK, I, I will do that. Adele can't hide her emotions. If she's mad, you're going to tell. And it's a struggle to get her to go in your direction. But I'm going to give her what I got. How you doing, OK? I'm scared. I'm so nervous. Don't be scared. Just keep smiling. Smile. Smile. There you go. My mother is a, a hard shell to crack. My father is great. He's talking to her, trying to make her feel better. Wonderful yeah. job. It's Good. delicious. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, you like great. Bill's meatloaf? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. I wanted to tell you how beautiful the chair is. You like it. I do. She is lighting up. Is she lighting up? <laughs> yes. I don't think I've gone that long. It's got to happen before I'm 17. <laughs> I told you, she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't tell me on what scale of a pain in the ass she is. Oh, she's 11. 11. Oh, <laughs> Excellent.
This is great. Oh, this good. Is wonderful. Thank you. It was a success. People love the food. And I feel that there's hope. Everybody's happy. It's very good. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed. In spite of the dramatic changes, the staff rose to the occasion. Done. Done. And customers left happy. And now, even Adele appears to be coming around. First of all, I want to thank everybody for all their hard work, yeah? And a big thank you to the Queen. <laughs> I'm serious. Why? There were a lot of changes. Yes, it was scary, but she pulled it off. It's very hard to put the past behind. I think the restaurant could be successful, but I don't know, only time will tell. When I first arrived, you'd lost touch with your customers in the community. Tonight, you reconnected in a big way. Tonight, the junction, even though the history is very short, it's only three hours old, is a success. But it's only the foundation, OK? You need to build on it together. Chef Ramsay definitely is giving us a second chance. And I'm just very anxious to be successful. And I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I will be back. And I'll take great pleasure in witnessing the success. And by the time I get back, madam, I want you moved out of that house. <laughs> yes? Promise me? I promise. OK, good. Well done. Seriously well done. Yes? What I've learned from Chef Ramsay is change is good, and I'm up for it. Thank Take you. Take care. Can't wait to see Thank you. you. And maybe I'll get some of the money back that I put into this place. Then I could retire. Right, good night. Good night. Yes? Good night. Big kiss. God, it's so nice to see you smiling like that. You know that. Well, I'm glad you enjoy New Jersey, at least this part of it. I'm thinking of moving here. Oh, my God. God help you. <laughs> What a week. We made some dramatic changes here. We changed the menu, we changed the decor, we even changed the name. That, honestly, was the easy part. The hardest part was changing Adele. She has to look forward, otherwise the history of the junction will be a short one. God, I'm a long way from home. Where well, is my train? Come on. In the days that followed, Adele slipped back to her old, stubborn self and started to redecorate the junction. The new concise menu, however, remains in place and is a hit in White House Station. We're doing meatloaf. I like that. That's good. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon discovers the most defensive chef he's ever met. That's why you have a ticket! All this owner does... Can't do everything myself. ...is give excuse... Don't have eyes in the back of my head. After excuse... I'm doing 400 things at once. After excuse... I can't cook and talk and manage the tickets. I need help. Stop. Will Chef Ramsay be able to finally get through to him? Have some fire in your belly! Or will the chef finally run out of excuses? You have given up.